As you can see, I have managed to pull the dinky little Elna Jr. apart a little bit. Um, got my Elna oil bottle out and gave it a little bit of lubrication and made sure I knew exactly where everything went back because I hate having that one part left over at the end. Um, I've had a few problems getting the music box to go. But, given a little bit of encouragement, it does at least make some noise. Bit of work to go on that one yet, but I've got all weekend. So you can see it's a lovely winter's morning out there this morning, but I'm tucked away here in my happy place with my big girl sewing machine and the little one that we've been playing with over the last couple of days. I have pulled her apart and oiled all of the moving parts and had a little bit of a look at the tensioning unit to get a bit of understanding of what's going on there. Um, when we first had a bit of a play with the, with the sewing it turned a uh, fabric into a bit of a bird's nest. This is um, one that you can see didn't go quite so well. A lot of puckering going on there and there was a lot of um, picking up several loops and making a bit of a hash of it over the back. That one got a little bit better as we went on. This one here is the latest one. You can see it's a lot flatter. Still not perfect. But over on the back, the um, chain stitch is looking pretty good, although not perfect. Um, I thought I'd just go through quickly how the, um, the machine is threaded. It's a little bit different from a standard machine, but if you're familiar with an Elna, you shouldn't have too much problem here. Um, so this little fella here, nice easy one. You come up, and there it is through the loop. Then comes down and through the tensioning unit what I've discovered here is that you need to hold the uh, thread at both ends and snug it up nice and tight between the plates. Um, I'm just going to use both hands to do the rest of the threading and I will show you what it looks like. Okay so according to the trusty instruction book which I very um, fortunately you have got. Um, you can see there it says that you need to pull the thread up firmly into the tensioning unit. So this is the step that I wasn't really doing properly before and it's giving me a much better tension now. You can also see there that the thread um, goes through the, th the take-up lever from right to left which is unusual um, and then down through the needle from left to right. So let's see if I can do this with one hand. So we've got the thread coming through the tensioner device there and now we're going to pop it from right to left through there and then down the bottom The needle isn't fore and aft, it's actually port and starboard. So there we go and through there. Now pop the foot up and take the thread underneath and we're ready to do a little bit of sewing. The key trick I've found here so far is that that very first stitch you need good tension on that loose thread if you don't, then 
that first loop gets picked up the second time round and then the third time round and that's where you get your bird's nest. So let's have a little bit of a try with this, eh? It up a little bit, tighten it up a bit more, and there we go. Look at that. You can see I've still got a little bit of work to do on the tensioning, it's still puckering a little bit. Um, but I'm sure that we will get there. One last thing, um, if you're lucky enough to have a clamp on there with these machines, it tucks through a little slot down the bottom here. Um, don't pop it on here because you'll damage the paint. Pop it through the slot that it belongs to, hold it onto the table nicely, and then you've got the ability to turn the crank without having to hold the machine in place. Hope you've enjoyed this. Um, when I've got that tension right, I might pop back and show you. Well, here we are again. As you can see, I have had a little play with some uh, more sewing. Um, gone backwards and forwards across the material. You can see at the very start here, um, the tension was still a little bit tight. As I have done each row, I've eased the tension off a little bit. So it's starting to get quite nice and flat and even here. Um, the tension is adjusted using this little knob here. We turn it anti-clockwise to release the tension and then clockwise to tighten it up a little bit. Now I don't know if you can see down in here, we've actually got several threads hooking over um, the looping mechanism underneath there so um, if anything my tension is just a little bit loose so what I'm going to need to do now is snip those off and um, have a bit more of a play. You can see over on the left hand side here the, um, the stitch length knob so one is the shortest stitch length you flip it round to two, um, and that is a little bit longer. And the line indicator is over here, showing where the marker is. If you want longer stitches still, we twist it round to three, and that makes lovely long stitches for us. And that's the Elna Junior.